many times. Yes, and the food. And, oh, and, oh, we I got mean, so many honestly, recipes. Do you yes. remember Tell waiting me. in the line? Yes. We used to get there like an hour ahead of time and wait because we had to be first. It was when unbelievable. The doors open. I love to Yellow. teach you my bolognese recipe. That's a northern Italian cuisine. And I was born in Northern Italy, and I'm dying to see how you make it, opposed to the way we would make it. Right. Really, I want to right. see this, I want to learn, and I want to see the difference. The true bolognese has the, the, the meat carrots, and the, and the yes, celery, it. and right. the cream. Mine is a little bit more on the healthy side, but it That's also is thing. easy. I, I want my Alexia foodies to know easy recipes. <laughs> you know, Alexia foodies, this is for you. Bolognese, yes. Alexia. I think we start with my favorite olive the oil. The Cola Vita. Cola That's Vita. Favorite. That's my favorite too. Oh, it's Always the best. Extra Vita. version, yes. right? All right, let's, so we're going to do, do this. It. I do like, I'd say, eight cloves. Eight cloves of garlic. Amazing. Now tell me, you put that before you put the onion, or do you use onion I don't use all? onion. I added some okay. beautiful chili flakes. Woo! You like it spicy. Yes, we do. Okay, I'm going to help you by turning this so all we right. get it nice and even. That I smell is one of my favorite smells on earth. It really is. I went to one of my favorite markets. It's Shores on Mineral Spring or oh, Atwood Ave in Fanston. Yeah. They grind up the fresh meats for you. I do ground chuck okay. and sirloin mixed. It's one of my favorite markets because the beef is it's so fresh. fresh. Yeah. Right now I'm using the chop tool from Pampa Chef to cut up my beef. Real nice like this. We're going to do some cracked black pepper, one of my Absolutely. faves. Absolutely. I have to flavor it up with all the spice, flavor necessary it it Italian up. spices. It's right. starting to brown really well. We're going to do some garlic salt. And it smells Ooh. amazing. All right. Okay. I need a little, uh, a little muffin because this is hot. Hey, the muffin! muffin. <laughs> <laughs> I actually poach my beef. By you adding add water, water yeah. it becomes much more tender, and That's right. we poach it. You're we're right. poaching the beef, okay? Yeah. And when the water evaporates, we're going to poach it again. So the beef is be going to become very, very creamy, very light. Look how tender it is. It's it looks already more becoming tender. tender. It is. And You're easier to mix it. as well, yes. So let's let this cook down for a minute. Okay. I think I just heard the doorbell ring. I, I thought I heard it too. <laughs> Look who's here. Jared! <laughs> yeah, how are you? How are you? It's so nice seeing you. I'm so glad you came. Always have a pineapple on my counter as a sign of like welcoming my friends and family. So this is so awesome. Because guess what? I forgot to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> That's great that you brought the pineapple. It's welcoming yeah. hospitality. That's what we have here today. You are like amazing. All I hear on like from everybody, social media. People, it's like bra for it all. That's like what's Broford going down right now. It's, it's the right. hottest thing in town. Well, we have the hottest ticket in town, bro, for it all. And yeah. I heard your uh, Friday the 13th was a huge success. Yeah, it was uh, the best one yet. This concept of settling street grudges in the boxing ring. And because of the fact that we were USA boxing sanctioned, mm -hmm. which gives us the protection and the insurance over the fighters, I was really intrigued because, let's face it, in Rhode Island, That's right, I know everybody yes. and everybody has a grudge and I'm breaking up a fight, one fight a week, probably two. So I have to come and see this, yeah. and definitely. So, Very interesting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we get yeah. A crowd. It's entertainment. We have music, dancing. Music, dancing, pugilists? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm in. You're in. <laughs> so definitely. yeah, it was a year ago to, to date almost that we wow. started this. And, and it's doing really yeah, we just uh, we just signed a reality show deal with K by Productions. Oh, great! Yeah, so oh yeah! <laughs> so yeah, they were at our event filming okay. for this uh, for this episode. It went really well. So good. Yeah, they're taking Excellent. it to Simon Cowell and Simon Fuller, and hopefully we wow. get some. It's gonna be big! Wow! Yeah, it's gonna it's be big. huge! It's big. I have sirloin and ground chuck. So I added some garlic salt, garlic powder, red chili flakes, a little bit of cracked black pepper. We're letting it reduce, and I keep chopping it up. It becomes very, very, very fine. I add a little bit more water to kind of poach it. It becomes extremely tender. I mean, when you taste this when it's done after four hours, it melts in your mouth, literally. All right, so we're gonna add a little more garlic powder, 
Now, I did use fresh garlic, but I like a little bit extra garlic powder, a little garlic salt, my cracked black pepper I already added. Yeah, you, Alexia, and, and what this is this? This is one of my secret ingredients. What is Italian this? Italian style breadcrumbs and Romano cheese. Mix. I put it right into the meat and saute it. To make a meatball in a bolognese. The only thing I don't add into this is an egg. So the breadcrumbs and the Romano cheese, is well, a loose up. meatball. A loose it's meatball. Hey, it's yeah. a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> my next step is to add my, honestly, pastine kitchen ready tomatoes. That's my go to. Yeah. Whether it be a beautiful pastine, Sunday yes. gravy or a bolognese, a meat sauce, pastine. That's it. Look at it. Oh, the yeah, ground, baby. Ground peeled. That's my favorite kitchen ready. They're all ground peeled. They're Everyone. beautiful. Watch okay. this. No, oh, no plum, yeah. No plum. No plum in this. No plum. This is going to be very, it's going to be very silky. So no plum. I've actually washed the tops of the cans. That's what I always do. Now, you see the water coming up? I do. Some people actually add water to their can. I don't do that. You don't need to because they're already the poached already and you can. see it's right in there. So we're going to do this. How many? Four? I do five. Oh. Three and a half pounds of ground beef. Oh. I do. Five cans. I do one and a half pounds. Uh, pounds of ground chuck and two pounds of the ground sirloin and that's a 90% lean so we're gonna stir this around you're gonna see it's the consistency see they see it's, that oh, meat that's beautiful now Look this that. looks it really is. very red right now when it's done in four hours it's gonna you're just gonna know it it seeps up to the top it's it amazing a, a, it has a golden tone, tone, to, tone it. Yeah. to it it's... i gotta wait four hours <laughs> <laughs> we all do we all do yeah. now let me show you my spices that i put in here so more spices marmalara pinch people learned about this from my first episode it takes out the acidity brightens it up a bit oh, if your tomatoes okay. are a little acidy the mamalara, here it goes. Oh! And that's sugar, correct? Actually sugar. Yes. Yep, takes out the, ac the acid. acidity, right. Now we're gonna do a little garlic salt. We're gonna do a little garlic powder. I over season because I want things layered. Every ingredient you add, I season. Because if you just season one thing, Every oh. ingredient you're going to add is not going to have any taste. Any flavor. Correct. So I keep, yeah. I go, I go, I go. And then you can taste it as you go. We're going to go with some cracked black pepper. Now you had already put the uh, pepper flakes. I did. Originally. Uh, yep. Right. And I know I, you like right. the spice like me. I love the spicy. So now we're going to just stir this up. It's going to be very smooth. Wow, look at that. Yes. Jared, yes. your show was like unbelievable Friday night. I, every time I went on Facebook, I saw Jared, 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 Jared. I want to see it. Oh my God, you it. have to see I, it. It's I amazing. I want there to. Were Can we go while cool it's simmering? Yeah, let's go ahead. do it. Let's Check do it, it out. Yes. Come on, let's All see right. it. All right. Very good. You live! I'm oh my God, here. you look oh. amazing. Oh. It's been such a long time. Woo! Hot stuff right there. I smelled the bolognese from 295. Guess what I'm making for you? A beautiful salmon. I brought some local wine, one to go probably with the salmon from Woodstock. Ooh! And then a red for the, the bolognese. And of course, Ballet of red. Angels, that is so cute. What is the name of the vineyard? Sharp Hill. Sharp Hill. Cabernet, my favorite. You know I love the reds. You do love them. Now listen, yeah. last time you were here with Ross, I made you the salmon. Yeah. You asked me how do you make it, how do you make it, I tried telling you. Now I'm going to show you how. You ready? I can't wait. All right, here we go. I mean, I filleted that fish myself. That's a beautiful fish. Just fish. kidding! <laughs> Captain's Catch, Mineral Spring Out. They are the people. They really are the best. I went there today and I'm like, ooh, cut the tail off. It's a little... So anyway, we're going to do this. This is so easy. I tell all my friends this recipe. It's a great after work meal. You can either grill this or put it in the oven. I broil it. Well, basically I bake it, then broil it. And here we go. Ready? Cracked black pepper. And Lots it's of healthy. it. healthy. Yeah, and I, I already pre-washed this. I make like a little foil, little tent kind of thing. So you're gonna make a ridiculous crust on this of tons of pepper. All right? So the pepper is working. Is there that it goes. Yeah. Mix of peppercorn. And I, I just love cracked black pepper. Notice in all my recipes, cracked black pepper. That's what I put. This seems like a lot, but actually it all kind of works. So my next ingredient, one of my go-to's, garlic powder. Favorite. Right? Garlic powder. 
You turn me on to the garlic. The garlic salt. I never use regular salt. The garlic salt is it. You season this beautiful. Now, everyone asks me about this. Do you use fresh parsley, dried parsley? Dried parsley. You have to put a big coating on it. There it goes. Look at this. You're going to be amazed. This is how much I you put. I love the colors. Right? That's so pretty. It's a together. ridiculous amount, right? It looks like, oh my God, this is going to be so crazy. And that's what makes a crust. It makes a crust. The next thing I add, I encrust it with vine ripe tomatoes. You have to keep the, the slices very how consistent. How many do you use? Watch. This is like four tomatoes for four pounds. So we're going to layer these, okay? We're going to layer them all around beautiful tomatoes. These make an amazing crust. They keep it moist. Do not be afraid to cover it up in tomatoes. Okay, here we it's go. It's like a tomato blanket. Right? And we love tomatoes, right? We do. Okay, so here we go. So I got these all cut up for you. I knew you were coming. Such a How nice was the beach, story. by the way? It was beautiful, but then it started to storm, but it was a really pretty day. I would have been kind of freaked out if it started to thunderstorm when I was on the beach with my kids. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So, like, if you have a couple of extras, just layer them on. There's no rules. It just goes on. Look at that. Completely covered in tomatoes, right? I always season everything like a couple of times. You need to layer and season the layers. If you don't season the layers, it's going to be tasteless. So we're going to do the same thing again. But this time, guess what I do? Red pepper flakes. Chilies. Uh, because I, I love everything pepper. spicy. I go like this, I put the a little of this, a little of that. Now, lemon juice. Oh, squeeze that lemon. <laughs> Are you throwing lemon? <laughs> Here we go. All right, the lemon's going on. Now, when so. you put your hands like that, is that because yeah, you it's catch so the seeds? So you catch the seeds. That's a very nice right? technique. The I like lemon that. goes in. Oh my God, I love it so much. Golovita olive oil, one of my favorites. Okay, here we go. Oh wow. Right? That's a good Drizzle one. Drizzle it on. You're not gonna believe the last ingredient. Look away, look away. I just I forgot my up. secret ingredient, people. Tabasco. Right? It is the bomb.com. You just do a little of this, a little of that. Ooh, baby. You just give it a little, little, little bit of a kick. So this is a fairly spicy dish. It's a little spicy. It's not as spicy as you might think. Now, the key is this. See the spoil tent? You do this. And that catches all the juice. Catches all the juice. Now this is gonna go in the oven. I bake it on say 375 to 400 for like 30 minutes and then I broil it. These tomatoes will get completely charred, but guess what I also do? Grill in the summer. So, but since it's raining, since we have a big thunderstorm, we just talked about it. Oven! Here we go. All right. Do you want to have some wine? What kind is that? Rosé all day! Oh, oh. <laughs> this is all the rage. It's so I mean, nice rosé all day, baby, right? Mm -hmm. I'll take some. Thank you, dear. Cheers, baby! Hey, mama! Hey, I heard you were making the mama Mary for that. The mama Mary for from, that! From oh my mama God! Mama Mary into your hands with love. This is like a baseball bat. Boom! Wow! Home wow. run, baby! My frittata's gonna be a home run. That's what's gonna be a home run. That's right. Guess who's coming later? Ooh. Rena. Rena's oh, I love her. Oh my God. She knows all about the Mom and Mary frittata. Look I can't wait for her to see this. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta it. wash so this and cut I it up. I gotta run because I have an appointment. Oh! I wanted to drop off. Ma, are you gonna come back? Yeah, of course. Love you. Love you too. Bye, Nan. Love you. Yeah, bye. Wow, that's a zucchini. That's, that that's is a like, beautiful zucchini. That's a baseball bat. I can make with that fried zucchini. Frittad, layered zucchini, zucchini boats. I mean, everything zucchini. But I kind of like rosé all day, and I kind of like how I how I feel when I say it. Rosé all day. Right? It's just amazing. You feel like that it's vibe. Hard. You feel a vibe. I think so. Oh my God, it's Raina. I told you she might come. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in so long. I gotta go get it. Raina! I like you. It's so nice to see you. Oh my God.
my god, you look Thanks. amazing. Thank you. You I miss you, miss you so much. Thank you. I miss you too. Thanks for having me. Why did you bring this? A bottle of red wine for your room. You know table. I'm a red wine lover. Perfect. And I brought you some books. We can talk about that. Amazing. I cannot wait to read your new book. Excellent. Remember well, I went to your book signing? Yes, I got it. was great. I know. You had a huge turnout. It was. It was a great turnout. Thank you. Ooh, something smells good in here. Bobby! Oh my god, you have to meet one of my best I friends of life. Oh, oh, Julie. Oh, Julie. Julie, nice, to, Ray, you. nice to meet you. She's the one I told you about. Oh my God. I she is so, you. we've been you. like very close for years. She has been a part of my family. She knows Mama, me and Mama, all the delicious the recipes. Fricka. She has to make, so I brought you some books. My first book, The Thirteenth Apostle. So that's for you. Love it. And the sequel, Divine Providence. Oh my God, and I brought I a set it. of books for your guests. So that we'll see so who nice can get that you, later. Raina. You're welcome, you're now, welcome. Raina. Can you autograph one of my copies? Absolutely, I would love to. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Oh now, my God. Uh, what are you going to be making today? We're doing the Mama Mary Frittata Theo. <gasps> that was one of my favorite <laughs> dishes that she made. I like it. I gained a lot of weight eating her food. It was so delicious. Oh, look, it's already signed. <laughs> so I don't even have to do that. Look, to Alexia, thank you for your support, Lavrena. Oh, Raina, would you like some wine? We have rosé yeah. all day. Rosé yeah, all day, baby. Thank you. Um, thank you. I've never had this kind before, but I, I do like rosé. What I wanted to talk Thanks. about was I was telling Julie about yes. your new novel. Right, the vampire the novel. The vampire. Right, it should be out this fall. I need to know about this because she's very interested. She loves My Halloween. Was born on Halloween. She loves <laughs> vampires. <laughs> and can you tell her a little bit about your history and what you are all about and oh. everything. Well, I'm so a local author, and my first two books are religious thrillers, so they're similar to The Da Vinci Code. People, you know, liken them to that style of writing. Um, and it's about the inherent nature of man and the forces of good and evil in the human soul. I love writing about that. Um, some of the storyline takes place in Rhode Island, and the new vampire novel that's coming out is set in Newport, Rhode Island. It's really interesting uh, vampire character that I think you'll really love. Um, he's unique. You've never seen a vampire like this. He's you. You're afraid of him, but you, you feel sorry he for him. Yeah, very handsome. Does he say I very want to suck the Oh my God! Is he a vampire? No. <laughs> Should we bring the garlic? Yeah. Uh, no, because that won't ward him off. But you will love it. Raina, I am so proud of you. You are like you. unbelievable. Thank you. I. I have always thought you were like, just like amazing. Well, you and your family were always amazing to me, and it's just always been a wonderful friendship. And thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's so, so good to meet you. you. Cheers. Oh, I cheers. can't wait to show her the Mama here's, Mary Frittata. Here's the, uh, the she, Mama Mary Frittata. Here's cheers. The novel. To the Mama Mary and Frittata, Frittata and the Mary vampire Frittata. novel. Right? <laughs> cheers. Wait, we didn't Sounds do it together. Oh. One, two, three. Cheers. cheers. When I was like 12, I was sitting in the kitchen with Mama Mary yeah. and she was, she's like, let's make a frittad. And it was one of my favorite things to eat. So I was like, Mama, but how do you do that? How do you make it? And she actually showed me and by watching, I picked it up. I'm gonna show my Alexia foodies how to do this. I'm gonna do 18 beautiful eggs, farm fresh. We're gonna add Pecorino Romano. A lot of it, because I love Pecorino Romano. I think it's the I best cheese. Too. On my pasta, I prefer Pecorino. Whole milk. Boom, baby. <laughs> We're gonna do some garlic salt. I always use kind of the same ingredients, but because I, you know, I spice it up a little bit. It's a little different each time. Cracked black pepper. These are my go-tos. Now we're gonna do the dried parsley. Dried. You cannot use fresh in this. Why not? I just don't know. Just the dry, just, mm -hmm. it's amazing. That's what mama used. I gotta do what mama did. Right, that's right. And mama always did it so good, right? Yeah, she did. And then your grandfather would clean up the big mess. Zucchini yeah. and Vidalia onion. Now, remember that zucchini my mother brought? Yeah. That thing was huge. So that was one huge Vidalia onion. One, wow. Now, I season everything as I go, so. We're gonna do some garlic salt. My favorite go-to. We're gonna brown them a little bit. We're gonna caramelize them. Yeah. A very, very slight amount. We're gonna make them get um, translucent. Right. Right? Then we're gonna add in our zucchini. Now, 
I mean, my mother brought me that zucchini. Look, that I massive. chopped it up. Wow. When you make Sounds a frittata good. like this, mm -hmm. you have to cut it very consistently. Oh. See the yeah, little tiny pieces? Little pieces. You can't have like one big chunk of a zucchini, a oh. little chunk of zucchini. I'm learning something today. See, this Great. is really a tribute to mama. She's living on through you yes. and her love and her food. She, I was her favorite. Yes. <laughs> you know that. Yes, you were. She always told me I was her favorite. Yes. Alexia, how is the salmon doing? I can smell that this is ready to broil. Oh yeah, that's the point when you have to get a little broil action going. Here we go. This is this is it. You cannot leave it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh Here wow. it goes. If you mess this up, it turns out to scrambled eggs. So you have to just wait. You're gonna move. It's called moving and shaking, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so Mama always used kind of a uh, you know a flat spatula like this. Mm -hmm. So you keep moving your eggs in to the center. Okay. And this is something you cannot leave. You just can't leave it. You gotta You don't just on. let it cook like no. that. No. Oh. How long keep does it take until Do you notice the eggs are starting to get cooked? Yes. So look, you have to move from the sides. Move from the sides. Do you have your heat on medium or low? It's always on high. So you're gonna keep moving and you're gonna keep moving. See the eggs getting cooked? Mm -hmm. Then you go to the sides. You're bringing the sides in. This really is a technique. Oh, yeah. Now, Julie, if you want to go change, this is going to take like five minutes. I so. have been in the, my bathing suit all day, so <laughs> I will be right back. You just keep working it. You cannot leave this. Until it becomes a solid piece. It actually looks like kind of like a scrambled egg, mm -hmm. and then you push the sides, watch. And then eventually, what, the whole thing like is like a consistent frittata? Yeah, okay. I think they call it coagulates. Congeals. But that's oh, kind of, oh, congeals. <laughs> I knew something. It congeals. Um, wait, Raina, I think it congeals. You gotta keep pushing and scraping. This is the tricky part. When it starts to cook, you have to flip. Oh, okay. You're pushing all the sides together. Feel that? Yep. Feel the love. You have to press it really hard. See how high oh, it gets? It's taking shape. It looks like a little cake. You keep going. Now, how many people would this serve? I would say like uh, one or two. <laughs> but what about like a normal people? No. This, you can bring this to a party of say eight people. Yeah. Julie, you changed! <laughs> You're out of your bathing suit. It's done. How do you get it out of this pan? You're That's gonna, gonna be hard. You're gonna yeah, so guys, this is what I do. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to the stove. Everybody look out. Oh. Oh, Mama Mary. Oh. Oh. All right, here we go. We're going back in. We're going back in. What are you going to do? Cook the other side? Yeah. All right. We're just letting it cook for like two, three minutes. Boom. It's ready. Woo. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, guys. The Mama Mary. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Alexia, how's the salmon? Oh my god, give it a check. Oh baby, it is done. Oh my so god. Beautiful. Woo! Wow. After cooking for five hours, you can I can tell when it's done. And this is why. Come a little closer. Look at that beautiful. See that oil coming to the top? That's how you know it's done. See these sides? I do this. I scrape it to the side. Oh my God, look at that, that beautiful sauce. I love to bring my pasta with a little pasta water right into my sauce and I mix it in. It's just amazing. The pasta water adds a great depth to it. It makes it more creamy and more rich. Oh my God, look at that Papa Dolly, baby. You know how I do. Dollops of ricotta. One of my favorites. Oh my god, I love the ricotta cheese. Picking basil from my tree. I want to eat this so bad. I mean, that's beautiful. I got a special guest for you guys tonight. A famous accordion player, Guy Lombari!
also much. This is heartfelt. I love you all. Enjoy the meal. Mwah! Now let me know! One of my best friends gave me this, Tracy. It says, you had me at kitchen, Alexia Foodies. Love you, biggest foodie fan, Tracy. And when I had my song out in 1996, she gave me my first gold record. So this is a tribute to Tracy. I told her I'd never do a show without it because it's my good luck job. Thanks, Tracy. Love you, girl.